use first principles to show that the derivative of f of x equals 2x cubed plus 5x minus 7 is 6x squared plus 5. And we're going to use this formula, the first principles, also known as the difference quotient. So what you do first is you take your function, and we're going to write that down. We're going to write down um, the derivative equals the limit as x approaches 0. I'm going to write my formula down. I'm taking care of this part first. I'm going to write uh, 2 cubed plus 5 at, um, my x. I'm going to leave blank minus 7. And everywhere there was an x, I'm going to input x plus h. Now for the second part, that just means subtract the whole function. So let me see if I can squeeze it in here. 2x cubed plus 5x minus 7. And that's all over h. So it's just, the, it's just substituting. You have two parts you have to take care of. We want it to equal this. So let's take care of that. We have the limit. as h approaches 0 of 2, and I'm going to expand um, that. That's going to be x cubed plus 3x squared h plus 3xh squared plus h cubed. Okay? Plus 5 5x plus 5h minus 7. Then we're going to subtract the whole function, which is going to be negative 2x cubed minus 5x plus 7. And that's supposed to go up here, and that's supposed to be all over h. And the next step is I'm going to distribute my 2. So uh, you're going to get, I'm going to write small here, 2x cubed plus 6x squared h plus 6xh squared plus 2h cubed plus 5x plus 5h minus 7 minus 2x cubed minus 5x plus 7 all over h. Now when you're done with this, what you should notice is everything that doesn't have an h in it should cancel out. And if it doesn't, you probably did something wrong with your signs or something. So this doesn't have an h in it, so it does cancel out here. Um, the 5x doesn't have an h, it cancels out and the negative 7 cancels out. So we're left with the limit as h approaches 0 of 6x squared h plus 6xh squared plus 2h cubed plus 5h all over h divided by h. Now let's factor out the h because we want to get rid of this h in the denominator. And we get 6x squared plus 6xh plus 2h squared plus 5 all over h. Now what happens is these h's cancel, and I can go ahead and this is a 6. I can go ahead and substitute now. Everywhere there's an h, I'm going to put 0. So we have 6x squared plus 6x times 0 plus 2 times 0 squared plus 5. These two cancel out, so you're left with 6x squared plus 5. So this is the derivative of... Um, my first function. 
Okay, thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.